shocking loss of life this weekend. Police say 56 year old Robert F. Fallone Jr. was killed in a construction accident Sunday morning. Today we're learning more about his life. Ericetta Koss has been following this story for us and now joins us live with the details. Ericetta. Well, Adam, I spoke to a few people who knew Robert or Bob, as they call him. Some didn't want to go on camera, but from what I've heard, he was very actively involved in this community. He loved to build houses, was a dentist, a business owner, and friend. Painful. Painful. Bernie Yacovangelo, Monroe County GOP chairman and member of the Rochester Building Community, is heartbroken today. He's known Robert or Bob his whole life. You know, I used to tell my kids that the problem with an accident, it takes a second to change everyone's lives and you can't undo it. Police say Falone and another man of a private contractor were working on a piece of property at Balakwa Estates Drive in Shilat. They say the two were digging a 15-foot trench to access an underground sewer when it caved in on Falone, taking his life. Yacovangelo wasn't super close with Falone due to their 20-year age gap, but he's known him his whole life in the professional world and in personal circles. Both of their families actually came over to America from the same city in Italy. For me, he was just an absolutely wonderful, positive, happy, smiling, warm, pleasant guy, always was. President of Rochester Building and Construction Trades Council Grant Malone says he's been in construction for almost 40 years and unfortunately has seen incidents similar to this one. A lot of them we might not hear about unless it's a fatality, but it's happening on a weekly basis, maybe not a fatality level, but it's still having the same issues, no doubt about it. For people who knew him like Yacovangelo, Falone is remembered as someone with an endless stream of ideas, someone who wanted to serve his community. Be one of those, you know, people that have a view towards what could be. Absolutely great visionary. Falone was also a member of Rochester Home Builders Association. The CEO there tells me he came from a whole family of builders, his father, brother, cousin. He also owned a dental practice in Rochester and a hotel and restaurant called The Inn on Broadway. In the newsroom, Eric had a cost. News 8. All right, quite a loss. Eric Ketta, thank you. Now, while the Monroe County Sheriff's Office is investigating, OSHA has been on scene in Chi Lai and is conducting its own review.